Now, now we know why links are important, right? We understand the value of that. We, we kind of know, you know what we're looking at when we're trying to obtain a link. And now we're going to talk about how to get these links, right? So how do you go about finding links? You have a website. I want links. All right, what do you do? Um, the, the most common source of links is going to be bloggers. The reason is um, bloggers are constantly publishing. They are much less picky about the content they post. They're going to be easier to reach. You can usually find them through the contact form, an email address, um, just commenting on their blog posts. You can find them on Twitter, on Facebook. You can find them in person. Bloggers are more accessible. Uh, there are also a lot more blogs about many more topics. You're much more likely to find a, a blog that's right in your niche. That's just exactly you know, the, the, the products you sell or the service you provide. It could be a blog just dedicated to that or at least relevant. Right? Local business directories. Those are easy. They're everywhere. You know, they might be geographic. They might be, uh, you know, better business bureau, sort of national. Um, and then you've got, could we hold questions to them, sir? Um, and then content websites, um, you know, those could be any news portals. You know, we're talking news sites, The Times, uh, Mashable, these sort of big content portals. And then business partners. Who do you work with? You might have uh, distributors, you might have uh, manufacturers of your product, um, vendors you work with. You could give testimonials on their website and get a link back for that. Many different options there. Looking up, you know, you want to rank for brownie recipes, right? Just to follow the example from before. Look at who's already ranking for that keyword. Whatever you're trying to rank for, just look it up. Okay, you know, up top we have allrecipes.com. There's a reason why allrecipes.com is ranking. It's not just the content. They've got a bajillion links going to them. I'm sure that some of those links you could acquire as well. Uh, there's a tool called Open Site Explorer. If you go to, I believe it's just opensiteexplorer.org, you can Google it. Okay. This is a paid tool, do keep in mind, but it is extremely useful when you're trying to do link building. You put in your, your competitor's uh, domain, you do a search, and it'll tell you how many domains allrecipes.com has links from. Over 15,000 different domains. So when you launch your website, you have zero. So when you're going up against allrecipes.com, you need to consider, okay, you know, this is going to be a long-term project. <laughs> and they didn't do this overnight, right? The way they did this was by creating quality content over an extended period of time uh, with features that allowed people to share their content, that gave them value, you know, they're probably also part of a larger network of blogs. So you need to pick and choose your battles. You know, brownie recipes might not be the keyword you want to go after. You know, down here, we've got the foodnetwork.com. Okay? I'm sure they've got a few thousand links as well. So you might want to, you know, revise the keywords you're even going after. Think about some easier ones where the competition doesn't have a million links. You know, let's start easy. Once you have 10,000 links, then you're in the, in the lead to start competing with these guys, right? So, based on my search, I actually found, you know, these were two 
uh, examples of links that allrecipes.com has. These are two news articles. So they were mentioned in the press. Simple as that. And they got links. You know, so that's for your competition. You, know, you, might, you go through your competition, you see all the kind of links they have. You look at the kind of strategies they've used to get links. A lot of your competition will be listed in different directories. Why not get listed too? If, if they are relevant to you, if they, they're a related type of competitor, you should also be able to get a link. Um, we did a research, we did some research for um, a major insurance company and we found, we were looking at uh, MetLife.com, we were looking at all their links. MetLife, turns out, gets a bunch of links from universities. <coughs> because what they do is they go and they sponsor um, career networking activities. And each time MetLife gets a link from a, a university. That's a strategy, right? That is a template for what you can apply to your own business. So, so look for little tricks like that that your competitors have employed to apply to your, your own site. Next, you want to go beyond your competitors. You want to find other sources of links. Look up your keyword plus blogs. Look up your keyword plus directories. Your, you know, so brownie blogs, brownie um, website directories, what, you know, whatever it is. Um, look for places where you might get listed. Um, you know, food blog guest blogger. Right? The idea is you may want to be able to obtain a guest blogging position where you go and you blog for another website and at the end you, you obtain a link in your, in your profile. That's one idea. So you might also be um, mentioned. You know, see if there's an article somewhere on the internet where your company has already been spoken of, but there's no link. Get that link. That's an easy one. If they've already talked about you, you know, that's already accomplished, you might as well get a link for it. So a lot of times we'll get a new client who's done a lot of PR in the past, but they never thought to ask to get a link as well with an article. And most, most journalists and editorial teams don't mind these days.